Hello everyone, welcome back to the second um, video of this tutorial series which is Laravel 5 login and registration system. Okay, so since we're going to need our users to login, um, let's make sure that when we first launch our application we have initial users in the database to use to test our login system. And how we do that, um, Laravel provides a feature called seeds which we're going to create default um, values in our database. Okay, so let's launch our users table and um, let's see the data in there. As you can see, there are no rows. So let's make sure that there is a default user in there. So um, let's create a seeds um, file and um, let's run that using PHP artisan. Make cedar. Okay, so um, that's complaining that we do not have a seeds class uh, provided. So we're going to type that in again and um, specify the name of the class so it's going to be called user um, table cedar and what that's going to do is create a file in our application and the file lives in database seeds as you can see we have this user table cedar so this table database um, cedar one here that was initially um, added when we created our application um, is what's used to call all the seeds so we can have many of these user table cedar um, classes but they will all be called inside this um, here so let's uncomment this line here which calls as you can see it says this call and the name of the class of the cedar that we want to call and um, we just specify colon colon class here so let's save that and go to our user table cedar now we have to implement this run method here every seed class has a run method and inside there is where you actually do the seeding so first before we do any seeding let's import our user um, model which is this user class here and it since it lives in the um, namespace app I'm gonna say app user so that means we want it available in our application um, it's not user it's use and um, in here let's first create um, let's first create clear our database um, table which is users so we're going to do DB and um, colon colon table let's do a backslash db so we have make sure that we have access to that namespace so which table do we want to get access to users and we're going to do delete that means before you do any seeding make sure that the users table is empty and then we do user colon colon create um, if you know eloquent you'll know what that means and we want to create a user with the name of um, lamin and um, we're going to give it an email of um, lamin at laravel.com okay and a password we're going to give it a, a password of we're going to hash it first so i'm um, in laravel um, normally when how you hash a password is hash make and then you pass in some value in this case we're going to hash la, um, lamin but um, there is a helper function which is exactly the same as hash make but just to keep things short um, tell Outwell added it to the Laravel framework so you can just do bcrypt and um, you can pass in whatever value you want to hash okay so now that we have that um, set up now let's actually run this cedars classes okay so let's go back to our command line we'll do php artisan db seed press enter now when we go back to our database after you verify that um, it says seeded we um, refresh this users class and as you can see we have a new user there lamin with the name of lamin and an email and um, the hash password that we have and the remember token which is not going to be used for now uh, but our application will make use of it later okay so that's it guys for this tutorial video uh, where we um, seeded uh, existing user in our database so that we can uh, test our login functionality in the next video i thank you for watching i will see you soon bye bye